Hey everyone, in today's episodes, Olivia will tell you how she was late for school. You'll learn some useful vocabulary and expressions that are commonly used in everyday conversations. This will also be a great opportunity for you to practice and improve your English listening and speaking skills. Listen carefully. Hi, I'm Olivia. And this is my story. Today started like any other day. I woke up to the sound of birds chirping outside my window. Sunlight peeked through the curtains, warming my room. But as I glanced at the clock on my bedside table, I gasped. It was already 7.30 and school started at 8 o'clock. I scrambled out of bed, almost tripping over my own feet in a rush. I quickly got dressed, not even bothering to tie my shoelaces properly. As I rushed downstairs, I could smell the delicious scent of pancakes wafting from the kitchen. My stomach growled, but there was no time for breakfast. Mom, I'm late, I yelled as I dashed through the kitchen, grabbing my backpack from the chair. My mom looked at me with a mix of concern and amusement. Slow down, sweetie. You'll trip and hurt yourself, she said. But I was already out the door. I pedaled my bike as fast as I could, the wind whipping against my face. The streets were quiet, everyone already at work or school. I glanced at the clock tower in the distance. 7.45 a.m. I was cutting it close. As I approached the school gates, I could see my classmates lining up outside their classrooms. My heart pounded in my chest as I skidded to a stop and parked my bike haphazardly. I burst through the classroom door just as the bell rang. My teacher raised an eyebrow at me as I panted, trying to catch my breath. Late again, Olivia? she asked, shaking her head. I sheepishly nodded, sliding into my seat. Despite the rush and panic, I couldn't help but feel relieved to have made it to school, even if it was just in the nick of time. Before we begin our speaking practice, let's learn some new words and expressions from our story. Understanding these will help you improve your English skills. Scrambled means to move quickly and clumsily. Example, I scrambled out of bed when I realized I was late for school. Gasped means to inhale suddenly with an open mouth, usually from surprise or shock. Example, I gasped when I saw the time and realized how late I was. Tripping means to stumble or fall because of catching one's foot on something. Example, I almost tripped over my shoelaces in my rush to get ready. Haphazardly means without care or planning in a random manner. Example, I parked my bike haphazardly outside the school gates. Burst means to break open suddenly and violently. Example, I burst through the classroom door just as the bell rang. Skidded means to slide along a surface, typically sideways or obliquely, losing traction. Example, I skidded to a stop in front of the school gates. Panted means to breathe quickly and with difficulty, typically after exertion. Example, I panted as I rushed to get to school on time. Sheepishly means in a shy or embarrassed manner. Example, I sheepishly apologize to my teacher for being late. Nick of time 
means at the last possible moment. Example, I arrived at school in the nick of time, just as the bell rang. All right, time to speaking practice. Repeat after Olivia. Hi, I'm Olivia. Hi, I'm Olivia. And this is my story. And this is my story. Today started like any other day. Today started like any other day. I woke up to the sound of birds. I woke up to the sound of birds chirping outside my window. Chirping outside my window. Sunlight peeked through the curtains. Sunlight peeked through the curtains. Warming my room. Warming my room. But as I glanced at the clock on my bedside table, but as I glanced at the clock on my bedside table, I gasped. I gasped. It was already 7.30. It was already 7.30. And school started at 8 o'clock. And school started at 8 o'clock. I scrambled out of bed. I scrambled out of bed almost tripping over my own feet in a rush. Almost tripping over my own feet in a rush. I quickly got dressed. I quickly got dressed. Not even bothering to tie my shoelaces properly. Not even bothering to tie my shoelaces properly. As I rushed downstairs, as I rushed downstairs, I could smell the delicious scent of pancakes. I could smell the delicious scent of pancakes. Wafting from the kitchen. Wafting from the kitchen. My stomach growled, but there was no time for breakfast. My stomach growled, but there was no time for breakfast. Mom, I'm late! Mom, I'm late! I yelled as I dashed through the kitchen. I yelled as I dashed through the kitchen, grabbing my backpack from the chair. Grabbing my backpack from the chair. My mom looked at me with a mix of concern and amusement. My mom looked at me with a mix of concern and amusement. Slow down, sweetie. Slow down, sweetie. You'll trip and hurt yourself, she said. 
You'll trip and hurt yourself, she said. But I was already out the door. But I was already out the door. I pedaled my bike as fast as I could. I pedaled my bike as fast as I could. The wind whipping against my face. The wind whipping against my face. The streets were quiet. The streets were quiet. Everyone already at work or school. Everyone already at work or school. I glanced at the clock tower in the distance. I glanced at the clock tower in the distance. 7.45 a.m. 7.45 a.m. I was cutting it close. I was cutting it close. As I approached the school gates, as I approached the school gates, I could see my classmates. I could see my classmates lining up outside their classrooms. lining up outside their classrooms. My heart pounded in my chest. My heart pounded in my chest. As I skidded to a stop. As I skidded to a stop. And parked my bike haphazardly. and parked my bike haphazardly. I burst through the classroom door. I burst through the classroom door. Just as the bell rang. Just as the bell rang. My teacher raised an eyebrow at me. My teacher raised an eyebrow at me as I panted, trying to catch my breath. As I panted, trying to catch my breath. Late again, Olivia? she asked. Late again, Olivia? she asked. Shaking her head. Shaking her head. I sheepishly nodded. I sheepishly nodded. Sliding into my seat. Sliding into my seat. Despite the rush and panic, Despite the rush and panic, I couldn't help but feel relieved to have made it to school. I couldn't help but feel relieved to have made it to school. Even if it was just in the nick of time. Even if it was just in the nick of time. All right, let's listen to the story one more time. Hi, I'm Olivia, and this is my story. Today started like any other day. I woke up to the sound of birds chirping outside my window. 
Sunlight peeked through the curtains, warming my room. But as I glanced at the clock on my bedside table, I gasped. It was already 7.30 and school started at 8 o'clock. I scrambled out of bed, almost tripping over my own feet in a rush. I quickly got dressed, not even bothering to tie my shoelaces properly. As I rushed downstairs, I could smell the delicious scent of pancakes wafting from the kitchen. My stomach growled, but there was no time for breakfast. Mom, I'm late, I yelled as I dashed through the kitchen, grabbing my backpack from the chair. My mom looked at me with a mix of concern and amusement. Slow down, sweetie. You'll trip and hurt yourself, she said. But I was already out the door. I pedaled my bike as fast as I could, the wind whipping against my face. The streets were quiet, everyone already at work or school. I glanced at the clock tower in the distance. 7.45 a.m. I was cutting it close. As I approached the school gates, I could see my classmates lining up outside their classrooms. My heart pounded in my chest as I skidded to a stop and parked my bike haphazardly. I burst through the classroom door just as the bell rang. My teacher raised an eyebrow at me as I panted, trying to catch my breath. Late again, Olivia? she asked, shaking her head. I sheepishly nodded, sliding into my seat. Despite the rush and panic, I couldn't help but feel relieved to have made it to school, even if it was just in the nick of time. Good job today. Keep it up. Every lesson helps you get better at English. We're excited to see you in my next videos. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more lessons. Keep learning and see you soon.